Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I want to demonstrate how to retrieve HTML using Ajax or an XML HTTP request. Okay, so um, essentially we're going to be dynamically um, injecting some HTML into our main web page. And I don't recommend this for most situations, but it can come in handy um, when using a JSON response. It's a bit too tedious. So, um, for example, if you're building a single page application, it might be very convenient to use this method right here to actually generate your different um, pages. Okay, so let's hop inside my editor here and take a look at this fruits HTML file here. So I've got a separate HTML file inside the same directory called fruits and basically it's got a unordered list inside it. Okay, so basically we're going to get this HTML and inject it inside here. Okay, I've also got some CSS to find inside the main file, which will be applied to this HTML. So inside here, the CSS on this page is going to be applied to the dynamically fetch HTML. There's no difference. Okay, and down here, I've got a div with an ID of container. Inside here will be the actual list once it has been retrieved by the web page. Okay, so Let's go inside the JavaScript and begin by making a new XML HTTP request. Make a new constant, call this one XHR, equal to a new XML HTTP request. Okay, and we're also going to get a reference to the container div. We'll say const container equals uh, document.gets element by ID pass in here the container okay cool um, so now we can define what happens when the response comes back so we're going to request the server to um, give us the fruits HTML file when that um, response comes back we're going to run this function right here so xhr dot onload run this function right here so we can first just check if the response status is 200 okay so we'll say if this, which refers to the XHR object, if this dot status is equal to 200, if all went okay, we're going to inject the HTML inside the container. So we'll say container dot inner HTML equals XHR dot response text. So XHR dot response text is literally every single character from this file right here. All right. So. Um, we can say if everything well, didn't go well, we can just say console dot warn uh, did not did not receive two hundred OK from the response. So basically, something went wrong. Okay, and now when the page loads up, we're going to define where to actually get the HTML from. So we'll say xhr dot open call the open method. It's going to be a get request. And we're going to get fruits.html. So I'm just putting it as fruits.html because it's, it's in the same directory as this file right here. Okay. We can now say xhr.send. Alrighty. So I can save this and refresh my browser and we get this right here. So the list has been dynamically inserted using Ajax. So inside the developer console under the network tab, we can see the request right here. If I click on it in the response, we see some HTML. So that's just how it works. So what you might do is you might actually have, for example, a navigation bar up here um, and you click on a link up the top and then it renders the HTML for that link. So it's a way you can make a single page application. As I said, most times just use JSON, um, you know, return some JSON and render it using JavaScript, but sometimes this right here might be convenient. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.